First of all, thanks for clicking on my video and I am sure you are having a fantastic day. In this video, I am going to show you how to make an auto layout. If you are starting to learn web design, then you have to understand that margins and paddings which sound very simple, but in real life projects are not very simple thing to handle unless you are using this feature. The auto layout takes care of paddings and margins and makes your life simple. By the way, this design style is called Neo Brutalism UI Design. This is very contrasty looking, vibrant colored style and trending nowadays. Lots of big companies are using this style as well. Hi, this is AP Abir. Welcome to my channel Design Thinking. Let's get into it. As you can see, I have few assets in the frame and I'm gonna use this in the process. But first, let's draw a rectangle, make it white. Now I'll style it as per Neo Brutalism. So, thick border and sharp shadow. Give it a border radius. This is a PNG. Now let's style this as well. A soft yellow might look good as a background. Now I'm gonna place this image on the top of the rectangle. Bring it to the top. Select both and click on this auto layout button. Set the spacing to 12 and margin to 32 pixel. By the way, new Figma updates allows you to change the margin very easily. You can only do left and right and only top and bottom and obviously single side as well. But for now, I'll stick to 32. Now let's add a few text to this card. This is a heading. Here is the body text. Now the good thing about the auto layout is you just have to drag and drop in the layout and it will automatically fix the spacing. The direction is wrong here. I want this to be vertical so I'll just change the direction from here. This body text has a fixed size now. I'll just change it to flexible height. Because auto layout allows you to make your site responsive as well. I'll just show you at the end of this video. Change this to center left. I showed you how to make a auto layout button in my previous video as well. Uh, I think you should watch that after this video. Giving it the same style with vibrant color as this is the primary button. Fix the spacing. I'll also add icons. Few more styling to make it perfect. Okay, now very quickly let's make the secondary button as well. Okay, I'll just drag and drop this into the auto layout. But here's the issue that uh, these buttons are vertically placed but I want this to be side by side. So hold shift on your PC and select both of the buttons and right click on it. Add auto layout and change the direction. Fix the spacing as well and center everything. Now let's make everything responsive. Select this image and set this to fill container. The text is all set as you can see the hug and fill container is selected. So you can see it, now it's a responsive card. Now you can add a space as well. Uh, as you see here, the spacing is not properly balanced. So for that, let's uh, take a rectangle, make the height of this to eight pixel. Make it white as the main rectangle is white. Drag and drop it. As the layout spacing is set to 12, so 12 plus eight plus 12 is 32. 
it's a simple math let's add another one here perfect uh, my design is almost done but uh, just one final touch up if i may and uh, with that my auto layout card is complete now you can modify it however you want without worrying about the spacing margin and padding so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you want more videos like this please subscribe thanks a lot for watching and i will see you in the next video have a nice day